Boris Johnson is beginning 10 days of coronavirus self-isolation just as he plans to relaunch his premiership following several days of Downing Street infighting. The Prime Minister was told by NHS Test and Trace he had to self-isolate after a meeting last week with MP Lee Anderson, who subsequently tested positive for COVID-19. Downing Street had insisted Mr Johnson would present a committed policy launch on social justice, what it called levelling up, and coronavirus over the coming weeks. Mr Johnson has reportedly told Tory MPs in a WhatsApp group message that he felt fine but had to follow the rules. It came as Labor leader Sir Keir Starmer called on the Prime Minister to publish a comprehensive national action plan for rolling out a coronavirus vaccine now to ensure such a program is effective. Four astronauts are hurtling towards the International Space Station on the first fully-fledged taxi flight for NASA provided by a private company. The SpaceX Falcon rocket thundered into the night sky from Kennedy Space Center just after midnight UK time. The Dragon capsule on top is due to reach the space station early tomorrow morning and remain there until spring. The capsule has been named Resilience by its crew in light of this year's many challenges, most notably notably COVID-19. Talks on a future trading relationship between the UK and European Union post-Brexit continue this week as the clock continues to tick until the end of the transition period. Lord David Frost is in Brussels for another round of negotiations ahead of a European Council video summit on Thursday, which has been touted as a deadline for a draft deal. Goods travelling between the two parties will be subject to tariffs set out by by the World Trade Organization if no agreement is in place at the end of December. The issues thought to still need settling include the ongoing row over fishing rights, how any deal between the two parties would be governed, and measures aimed at preventing unfair competition on issues including state subsidies. Lord Frost said there has been progress in a positive direction over the past few days. Motorists could be charged for using Britain's roads under plans reportedly being considered by Chancellor Rishi Sunak. The Times reported the move is being mulled to cover a tax shortfall of £40 billion caused by the rise in popularity of electric cars. Mr Sunak is said to be very interested in the concept of a national road pricing scheme, but it is unclear how the charges would be calculated. And finally, Yes Sir, I Can Boogie has re-entered the charts after it was adopted as an anthem by Scotland's victorious football team. It charted at number three on the official Big Top 40, higher than Sam Smith, Miley Cyrus and Ariana Grande. Video of the jubilant Scottish players singing the 70s disco track by Bacara went viral last week after they qualified for next year's Euros.